Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. Good morning, Uganda. The day of glory is today. Good morning, viewers. The day of your glory is now. The glory means echitiwa chakatonda. Oh my God, I see somebody. The glory is covering you. The glory has come. God is going to glorify you. God is going to elevate you in his glory. Oh my God, I see somebody, a pastor, a minister, you are about to be manifested into God's glory. I see somebody, your family is going to appear somewhere. Oh my God, the glory of God is the solution for everything. Where the glory of God is, there is liberty. Where the glory of God is, there is freedom. Where the glory of God is, there is finances. Today is a glorious money, money, money. Oh my God, I see a lot of money. The glory is going to appear upon our children who are going to school. The glory is going to appear upon our parliament, upon our, our, our judiciary, upon the judges today are going to pray for the judiciary. Oh, my God. It, it is going to be powerful. The glory is appearing upon Uganda. I see the glory shining in northern Uganda. I see the glory shining in, in southern Uganda, eastern Uganda, western Uganda, and the central. Oh, my God. I see the glory. This morning, I woke up with the power of the glory to speak about the glory. Because when the glory appears, the glory is the solution. When God, God's presence is God's glory. The spirit of God's presence is God's glory. That's why the Bible says in the Isaiah chapter 60, the Bible says, And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. My brother, my sister, I repeat to you, uh, the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Oh, Uganda, the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Oh, our president, his excellent president, Mama, the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Oh, every project we have in Uganda, the glory of the Lord is risen. Look at the sky today. I see there is a sky like the hand of a man. That's already the glory. God is already speaking his glory. God is already speaking to you. Some of you are speaking intimidating letters, intimidating WhatsApps, intimidating situations, intimidating doctor's reports. I want to assure you, let them intimidate you. But the glory is around you. I've seen the glory of God. One day I traveled in entire Europe. I left Uganda with only, with only dollars. Hallelujah. I passed through Europe, uh, through uh, France. I traveled to Germany, Finland, Norway. You mentioned every country, 13 countries. But the glory appeared to me. God just opened doors. The hundred dollars increased and increased and increased. I decided a financial increase. The glorious financial increase is partaking you right now. Hallelujah. I see that glory multiplying your finances. I see that glory multiplying your money. I see that glory giving you new ideas. I see that glory of God taking to another level. Oh my God, shout and say glory. Repeat again, glory. The third time, glory. Oh my God, the glory is upon you. I see somebody, you're going out of the gate. Right now, you don't know what to do. You lost the job, but the glory is connecting you to the right job. As we are going for the interview today, the glory of God has gone ahead of you. You're going to receive a better job than the other one where you lost. Another person, a soldier. I say soldier right now. Hallelujah. You have been in that place since night. You don't know what to do. But I want to assure you, the glory has located you. You're going to travel to Somalia. You are going to go travel abroad. Your name has been put on the list of the people to go abroad. Oh, my God. There is somebody I see right now. Your promotion has come. Because of the glory, I want to assure you, the Bible says, your glory has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Hallelujah. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Put your hands on your head and I declare, oh my God, the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Because of that glory, whoever is watching me, whether you are a Catholic, whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a child, whether you are a woman, I want to assure you, this glory is going to change your life. Some of you, they are about to change your name. They are going to call you Hector the billionaire. They are going to say Grace Cavi the billionaire because the glory has located you. Hallelujah. You have been struggling. You have been doing this. Things are not meeting. Ends are not meeting. But I see God's favor locating you. 
Oh my God, there is a deal you're going to strike. There is a deal. There's a man. I love this man. He, he, he works in Katwe. Hallelujah, he was a sweet man. He, 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 I, used, I used to tell him, he, he watch me, he listen to me on the radio, because I have a radio program every Wednesday. So I was praying and I said, God is going to give you a deal. And this guy, he, he hit a jackpot and he bought land. Hallelujah. He bought land and he built a house from one day that God located him. And the, the Jada things he was doing, uh, I, I, I don't know how we call them. So there is a game he entered and he got a jackpot of millions of money. He bought land, I bought a house. Now his children were, one daughter was waiting, Pastor Grace, thank you so much. Our dad was listening to you and the, the glory helped him. Now we have a house. The same anointing is locating you wherever you are. There is a jackpot coming to you. Hallelujah, there is a deal. There is a, will you check your email now? There is an email we have been waiting for. There is a call that is going to change your life today. There is a call this week. There is an email coming. Oh my God. I see there is a knocking. A knock of good news. Good news. Because the glory of God has risen upon you. When the glory is risen upon us. Oh my God. Our enemies are calling us our friends. Your enemies are going to call your friends. Now. The power of the glory comes by prayer. Let's, let's pray. As you bring your children, because today we're going to pray for your children who have gone to school and others bring their pictures because they've already gone to school. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release the glory of God upon our president, Yoweli Muxeven, and our mama. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for the first family. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for this government. Hallelujah. I declare peace in Uganda. I declare glory to cover this country. Because the Bible says, and the glory of the Lord has come upon you. I see the glory around Uganda. I see the hand of God lifting this country. I refuse you all. I refuse bloodshed. I refuse the family. I refuse the disaster in Uganda. Uganda is going to be peaceful. Uganda is a land of abundance. Uganda is a land elevated. Uganda is a country of good people. I pray for the uh, UBC. I pray for the management of UBC, for the board of UBC, for the staff of UBC. I pray for you this morning, wherever you are, even there are some boys who sleep in the studio to make these programs. Uh, guys, God is going to reward you. You are doing wonderful work. All oh, right now, Father, I pray for the judiciary, as I said. I pray for the judiciary, for the judges, in the mighty name of Jesus, for the judicial commissions. Every lawyer, every judge, every whatever, I pray for you, people working in the judiciary. May God give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You're going to be like a Socrates. You're going to be called the judge like the Socrates. I pray for the uh, people working in the markets. I declare abundance of money. Right now, I pray for the students going to school. I pray for all the students, all the children. I declare the blood of God, the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb upon you. You're going to study in the mighty name of Jesus. You're going to make it in the mighty name of Jesus. You, this time, your report has changed. This time, school fees is zero balance. This time, God is going with you at school. I rebuke those night dancers who move in your beds. I rebuke every evil spirit that burns schools. This time, our schools are going to be peaceful in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you because of the sick people who are getting healed. I pray for the sick. You, if you are sick, Put your hands on your head. Put your hands where your pain is. And it is healing now. Your healing is now. The power of God is locating you. The glory is bombarding that sickness. Touch where the sickness is, I told you. Be healed now. Be healed now. Tomorrow, I'm going to pray for the people who don't eat meat, who don't take milk tomorrow. Come with the meat, come on with the meat and milk on the TV. I'm going to pray for you. The power of God has located you. We love you so much because God loves you. I see God is taking to another level. I see good news is coming today. Now, I want to pray for the viewers, the people who have been viewing us since Monday, since last week, since last month. May God bless you so much, viewers. May God answer your prayer. The glory of the Lord is the reason upon you to answer your prayers. Whoever is viewing me this morning, God has answered you. My name is Pastor Grace Kabuye, my people ministries. We love you so much. Please love Jesus. Things will change. The telephone number to call 0751 62 Another number to call 
We love you so much, guys. We'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Bye-bye.